Alright, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. Alright, special video for you guys here today. We are back on 495. Wow, getting awfully close to that car next to me. And um, I've got FSD in control here. We're doing some highway driving. I want to show you how FSD responds to the highway. Um, cars going really fast around me. Exits coming up. We've got lane switching that should be occurring. We are driving on assertive mode right now. So let's see how the car does. We are just at the tail end of 495 here in Virginia. About to get into the into Maryland, cross the bridge, and um, let's see how FSD does handling this. Um, we've got a max speed limit set at 65, and um, so far cruising in our left lane here. I think this lane turns into an exit lane pretty soon, so my guess is FSD will try to get out of it, or no, that's the far right lane, but assertive mode typically does want to drive in the most leftmost lane um, but it sees that this lane is moving right now so it's doing a pretty good job we are officially on the bridge now traveling over the bridge and traffic is moving which I'm really happy to see uh, let me just make sure yes yeah, so we are on assertive mode um, which is gonna try to stay in the passing lane as much as possible and uh, speed up a little bit more so let's see if it does that I mean all in all I feel pretty good about being in this lane it, it handled itself really well um, because the traffic is moving which I'm really happy to see but yeah as you can see okay here we go with the lane switch finally it decided to move over to the middle lane it did a really nice job at doing that as you can see here it detected the surroundings and clicked on the indicator at the exact moment it saw suitable and it won't go unless it's it's a you know clear space for it to go so that's another thing that you can pretty much guarantee FSD won't switch lanes if, if it can um, and if it starts moving over like here we go now as you can see here it started moving over you notice it had the clear way and it proceeded and just like that, it's, you know, now it's in the second to left most lane. And um, let's see how it does handling traffic. I'm really glad that um, we haven't had too much traffic in this video so far. Um, hopefully I didn't just jinx that. But um, I really like to see how FSD handles itself, you know, in stop and go traffic and, you know, this type of traffic as well too where everyone's driving like 40 right now on this turn um, but it does a really good job about detecting your surroundings everything shows up right here on the vector space and um, yeah it's 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 great on the highway I have to say it's, it's trained itself really well using navigate on autopilot and ever since the introduction of version 11 it's been highway FSD which is really cool um, no more switching versions going from road to road and uh, it, it's it's doing great I mean you can see the way it's driving here so we do have a split off of the road in about two miles and um, I want to see how FSD handles itself it looks like there's a car actually I'm gonna switch lanes but I can't I'm just gonna sit through this because it looks like a car is pulled over on my left side over here which is why traffic is slowing down um, but before it clogs up and doesn't allow me to move I'm just gonna hang tight looks like it cleared up now and um, yeah the lane lanes do split off here in a little less than two miles and um, I am supposed to go right so FSD should figure that out on its own and um, switch lanes all by itself when the time is ready and yeah I mean as you can see it's slowing down very appropriately just like I would I probably wouldn't have you know handled that slow down any differently and uh, it really you know helps you gain confidence using it um, but of course you have to always be ready to take over keep your eyes peeled on the road just because the car is driving for you doesn't mean that you can 
be not paying attention or in the back seat or falling asleep because first of all there's a camera on you which is just right above the rear view mirror and uh, it's it's looking at you so you actually can't do that as much as that's already a really dumb idea but yeah as you saw right in front of me that car was switching lanes and the other car tried to switch at the same time and they honked at each other um, there's always so much going on around you like look at this car switching lanes in front of me so FSD does, does a great job about recognizing it but at the same time you just want to be careful and always ready for anything um, but yeah all in all it drives really well um, it detects the surroundings really well um, it makes smart choices um, it's a little bit more boring driving sometimes I mean especially if you're an aggressive driver and you like to switch lanes and weave through traffic FSD is not gonna do that its goal is to get you there on time and in one piece and it really keeps safety as a priority in mind with every decision it makes so yeah um, looks like the traffic is officially starting to build up which is by far the worst thing ever to sit through but that also makes another argument why I think FSD is is really great for not just the highway but all roads um, but especially in traffic it really does this thing um, minimal nudges here and there the nudges really come down to here we go with the lane switch the nudges come down to where your eyes are um, and what your hands are doing so just like that I think I, I got a nudge because I waved my hand um, and if you're messing around on the infotainment system here then it will definitely ask you for some kind of input and yeah the scroll wheel works as input you can just give a little force to the steering wheel um, yeah so every once in a while we'll ask you for a little bit you know making sure that you're still there here we go with 495 splitting off um, one side becomes 270 the other side stays 495 so we want to stay on 495 it already did put me in the right lane which is any of these three lanes here so I like the way it did that it looks like traffic is starting to finally clear up now so yeah here we go we're gonna end this video after this exit and let's see how it handles um, there has been no takeovers in this drive so far. This was completely autonomous, all handled by Tesla's full self-driving here. So I'm just resetting my speed here to 65 now that we're starting to move a little bit. And here we go with the exit. Really nice job that FSD put me in the right lane. And um, it really helps when you're in unfamiliar territory if you're not sure of the directions. FSD is a huge help. It really makes sure and it gives you alerts. It will um, it will kind of ping at you as well if you if you do something else. Like if you're driving manually and you're supposed to have an exit coming up, it will come up at you. But if you just let the car drive, it'll keep you in the right lanes to make sure you take those exits. But yeah, as you can see, the car drives really well on the highway. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Here we go with another lane switch. And yeah, thanks again for watching this and hope you have a great rest of your day.